Hello, my friends. I wanted to do a general love reading to see what's coming towards you. I tried twice to do it with another deck and I couldn't get the energy. Like I just couldn't feel the energy in that deck. So I've switched decks and we're going to go here. Interesting. So I'm just going to give it one shuffle and we're going to see what's happening here for you. It's very sunny here. So let's see what's coming towards you. We have abundance transformation interesting we have spiritual protection so you're being protected in some sense um, and it talks about grounding so you could be someone who's really tapped into your spirituality right now you could be really working on grounding yourself we have clover luck happiness success bloom growth hope surprise chance Oh my gosh, so it feels like at the end of perhaps a very long journey, you have a surprise coming towards you. Interesting. And I do see abundance here. We have fish, and that's 34 Emperor Empress energy. So as far as love, it feels like you have abundance coming in love. And we're seeing your hope restored here with whatever this is. Um, we do have transformation, so it could be that you're reconnecting with someone who's been through a transformation, perhaps someone who confused you. There could have been deception in the past. Um, this person is coming back in transformed. Like I said, you're being spiritually protected here. So for example, if this was someone who did you wrong, my little spiritual person, they could have received karma for that, you know, and learned their lesson. That's what I'm seeing here. So your hope is about to be restored in something. And we have new beginning, 33. The key hierophant energy. Um, interesting. What can you tell me about this spirit? Oh my gosh, are you fucking kidding me? Love, romance, happiness, lover, feelings, emotions, optimism, heart, affairs, joy of life, passion, connection, fulfillment, Cupid. Mwah. Oh my gosh, look at the birds. Yeah, we have communication here. Someone communicating with you. Could be a letter, could be a text, could be a phone call. I'm seeing written word though, written word. Um, I'm almost seeing, do you guys, you guys know, I've talked about it before, the movie Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. Um, the guy in that movie wrote her letters all the time and sent them but someone intercepted those letters so she couldn't get them this could be someone who's written you letters you know and not sent them written you messages um emails not sent them saved in draft and we see this communication coming in between you and this person we have birds that looks like my bird i have a blue bird just like that uh, her name is blue <laughs> intimacy love nest Thoughts, windfall, safe nest, phone call. There it is. Messages, communication. You've got two here. Look at these cards. You've got communication, love, and communication. The swans coming back together, reuniting. Beautiful. Hope restored. Look at all these beautiful cards that are coming out for you out of this deck. Like I said, these decks can be, these decks don't have all happy, fluffy cards like that. Look at the shining gold, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Let's get another one. I'm just looking at those birds. Yeah, we have the, we have a masculine here now. Look. So you've got someone, someone who could be divine masculine coming towards you. Um, interesting. Yang, male friend. Stand your ground. So this could have been someone who was standing their ground for quite a while, not communicating with you, or you had to stand your ground with this person um, to cause that transformation. You know, we do have that transformation and deception seven of swords so it could be that you had to stand your ground um, when it came to your boundaries or when it came to reaching out to them you know you could have been really focusing on yourself not chasing them interesting and we have death and rebirth on the bottom starting over 
So it seems like this person wants to take a stand. And now I'm hearing that take a chance on me by Abba again. It's like this person is going to ask you to take a chance on them. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Let's get another one. The person could wear a hat. We have twin flame. Mm. Higher love, soul connection. Twin flame. There it is. And we have spirit. So very spiritual connection. Your spirit guides are guiding you to this connection. That's what I'm seeing. Counterpart connection. Um, let's face it. When people, in my experience, when people do this and they deceive you and they manipulate you and you stand your ground and walk away, non-counterparts, you're very happy leaving them in the dust. You know, you're like, whatever, that person deceived me. I don't care if they change or not. Um, but I'm seeing with all these cards here, especially the little swannies. Where are they? The swans. You've got two cards about being spiritually protected. I feel like this is a very spiritual connection. And not everybody understands these spiritual connections, you know? Um, they're meant to they're meant to test you and rip you open <laughs> so that you can evolve into that butterfly. Um, we have light worker, spirituality guide, fifth dimension. So you could be dreaming about this person right now. But what I'm seeing, 40, emperor energy, I feel like this person is being guided towards you. Um, the reading that I was trying to do where I couldn't connect with the cards, um, some of these cards came out like forgiveness, um, transformation, and what was the other one that came out that I'm trying to think of? Um, dreams. Like I feel like this person is getting guidance and dreams about you. You could be someone that's dreaming about this person right now. Um, you could be, you know, communicating in the 5D. So if you are having dreams about someone, that's why. Um, especially if you're dreaming about, you know, past. Now we've got the feminine. Ah! And we have the lily. Harmony. Victory. Happiness. Support. Protection. That's amazing. So we've got like a we've got the twin flame card. I've never even seen that in this deck. And we've got the masculine and the feminine here. And we've got spirit guiding this and protecting this. It's very clear here. Very clear. Very clear. Maybe you and your person look like that. Or like that. <laughs> Where'd you go, you little mister? There he is, right at the bottom, hiding. <laughs> Maybe your person wears suspenders. Interesting. We've got the feminine, we've got the masculine. Here it is, temperance, 14. This person may have deceived you. It's on this card. And, you know, it could have been that you had to choose yourself. Um, and walk away from this very interesting that's the energy i was getting in this deck but i i just wasn't connecting with this deck when i was getting it um or when i was trying to do this reading so my intuition told me to choose another deck but there was this energy of you know perhaps you standing your ground against this kind of energy to create balance um interesting so you may not trust this person you know like this person may come in temperance energy and you may have lack of trust in them because of what happened in the past i'm hearing your person could have red hair mm -hmm. oh my gosh soulmate soulmate soul connection past life connection so you and this person have a spiritual connection. That's why you haven't been able to just let it go completely. Neither have they. I'm seeing two people coming back together here. Beautiful cards. Like there's some, I'm getting all the nice cards here, except those two about 
deception, which I feel like it was there in the past for some of you, and you had to embody your own self-worth and put yourself first because you know you deserved better. And in that, this person started transforming, I believe. We also have another 14 here, so we have 14, 14. And we have spiritual development, and look at that. Spiritual development. We've got this deceitful fox right here. Going through lessons, balancing their energy, spiritual growth, spiritual enlightenment. And it says, you know, interesting, family, spiritual development, survival, protecting family, um, sacrifice yourself. So you could have had to sacrifice yourself and your own wants and needs because this person was deceiving you, you know? This could have been someone who was more focused on their own wants and needs. You know, I'm seeing my king of wands. Perhaps they were, like, really focused on what they wanted to do and deceived you in some way. Anyway, we see spiritual development here. This person going through some type of spiritual development. Let's see. I'll just get a few more from this deck. You want to come out? We have garden. 20. Judgment. Awakening. Conversation. Meetings. Coming back together. What's on the bottom? Confusion. Look at this. We have home. Happiness. Security. Structure. Foundation. Four. So it's like this person wants to st stabilize this connection. And we have ship. So it definitely feels like you're receiving news about something. Um, in that other deck, the that was what it was about. It was about, I was getting cards about something coming in um, that you don't see coming. Anyway, I want to get, I actually want to get this deck now that we're into the energy. Um, so we have self-love. You are enough. So you could have been someone who was lacking self-love, you know, and perhaps this person, there was a lot of conflict and you lacked the self-love to, you know, when you don't love yourself and someone's like trying to make you feel bad and you just let them because you don't feel good about yourself anyway. Anyway, let's see what comes out for you, my friends. So we have commitment anxiety. So you could have had someone who had a fear of commitment and who ran from you. You could have a fear of committing to this person. Like this person could be coming back towards you and you have fear. Like how could I commit to someone I can't even trust, you know? Um, we have winter. So something could have happened in the winter. You could be in the winter stage of... When I say winter, I mean no contact, no communication, no um, period of rest I'm seeing or something could have happened in the winter, December, January, February. You could have walked away in the winter when you realized you deserved better. And, you know, we do see the twin flame card. I feel like maybe it was a connection where you had to learn to walk away um, because you couldn't force this person to heal is what I'm hearing. Winter. What are you? Intuition. Answers are within reach. So you could have had a gut feeling that it was time to walk away. Um, you could have a gut feeling that this is about to come back in. Um, with all these beautiful cards here, I'm not surprised that you feel it coming. We have listen. Here's that fucking listen card. And it says, hear them out. That's what this card is about. Someone coming towards you and you hearing them out. And spirit's saying, listen with your intuition. You know, your ego may do this. Your ego may... No! That person hurt me before. People in my comment section are like, the past is the past for a reason. And it's like, well, some people make mistakes. And like, you don't have to shove everything in your past and forget about it. But anyway. Um, so you could have a lot of fear here when this person comes in. And spirit's saying, listen with your intuition. Um, interesting. Yeah, we have an offer and longing. This is what I mean. There's someone thinking about you. That's why all these cards are here. Like all these love cards. 
like this. Someone thinking about you, longing for you, writing letters to you because they can't talk to you, you know, dreaming about their pot of gold with you. Anyway, and they want to come in with an offer here. What that offer is, I don't know. I feel like this person, you know, it says they've transformed, so hopefully they've been through some type of transformation, but I'm going to ask Tarot anyway. Because this person could have been immature in the past. That came out in that other reading. Yeah, these two both came out. Um, so it's like you have celebration coming with this person, the deepening of intimacy with this person. That's what's coming towards you. Why do I feel like this isn't, I'm having this reaction. Like Usually I'm super happy when I see this, but for some of you, I'm not sure if you want this person back or if you're convinced that they could ever change. I just feel a very like, oh, my person's coming back. Oh, oh, um, I'm not getting that normal like blah that I usually get. It could be that it's coming in very unexpected too get more like usually I get that like right like, giddy feeling um but right now I'm just feeling like oh my person's coming back oh um we have sad so it feels like this is someone who's missing you this person could have made you very sad and that's why you have that fear timing divine timing what do we need to know spirit please commitment there it is again all the cards that came there it is these came out at the very beginning of that other reading that I was trying to record, and I just couldn't connect with it. But that's why I needed the other cards first. Yeah, we have someone coming in for forgiveness, wanting commitment. Um, this could be someone who you used to be married to, you know, coming in for forgiveness. Someone who deceived you. Um, when I started with this deck, I was getting the energy of, you know... Someone who you felt very committed to, but you had to walk away from, or you had to separate yourself from because of that Seven of Swords energy. Spring, that also wanted to come out in that reading. So something could have happened in winter, and now it's spring, transformation, communication, Mercury is in retrograde. Maybe I'm picking up on a retrograde person, but I don't know. Um, twin flame energy. travel so you there it is that's seven of swords card again so yeah someone acting from a place of ego seven of swords energy this could be someone you're at a distance with i'm seeing like that runner king of not king knight of wands you know inconsistent inflated ego Maybe a player. Maybe there was deceit. And what I'm seeing, we have emperor energy here, the ego. So this person, it says actions from a place of fear. So they could have been in, you know, distorted masculine energy. Um, I really want to get tarot here in a minute. We have anxiety. If you're feeling anxious right now, it's because this person feels anxious. Yeah, we have soulmate again. So we have soulmate, which came out in other cards, and growth. So this person has been growing. Does that mean we can get excited now? We have nostalgia, karmic lessons being learned. Yep. So they maybe had some type of karmic lesson when they were in separation from you. This is someone who's learning from the past, and you've learned too. Um, Six of Cups energy, someone thinking about you all the time. And we have soulmate and growth. So this person could have even gotten like therapy or counseling before coming back to you. And they are, they're worried about coming towards you. Twin flame, sign. I can't believe that just happened because I was saying twin flame, twin flame. <laughs> anyway, I'm seeing a twin flame connection. I just feel like maybe I'm talking to someone who's maybe in denial about twin flames or doesn't think your person could change is what I'm hearing like I said usually I'm very like full of energy giddy when these cards come out 
but I am, I'm feeling this level of hesitation. So I feel like I'm dealing with someone who maybe is like, maybe you don't believe this person is in, is your twin flame. I'm almost seeing someone who you haven't spoken to in a while, who, you know, I don't know what they did, but I don't think it was good with that seven of swords energy that keeps coming out. Just really inconsistent, you know, there could have been a third party. And I feel like I'm channeling people like a collective who are undecided if they even want this. Like you could be in a very doubtful period of your twin flame journey. Perhaps you've never seen your counterpart evolve. My counterparts, I know you know what I mean. You can see them grow and evolve. Karmics don't grow and evolve. So if someone's coming back and just exactly the same every single time and then they're gone and they come back and there's never any change or growth, very symbolic of a karmic. You could feel like this is your karmic, but this is coming out twin flame. And I'm telling you, I feel like I'm channeling a collective that doesn't believe this is their twin flame because I'm not getting excited at all. It's like, oh, they're coming back. Um, but they're coming back and they've done some work and I feel like they're going to look different to you. They're going to sound different. They're going to be taking accountability for things that they couldn't take accountability for in the past. You're going to see a change. I'm even seeing some of those patterns. They won't repeat again. Let's get one more out of here. We have self-love. So you could have, you know, in separation from this person, realized your worth. And now you're like, I love myself too much for that. But maybe you don't know that this person is changing, you know? I want to get tarot here. Tarot will give me a much better idea of what's going on here. Hang on. Oh, yes, I have a deck right here for you. So look, we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. That's you. So you could be feeling very confident, very focused on your own endeavors, your creativity, your job. I know it's not pentacles. Um, but we see this person kind of sitting there with like an iPad and a phone, very busy, you know, focused on their beautiful self, feeling confident. You know, that's you. Beautiful. So let's cut it. And let's see what comes out. So first, I want to see what's coming towards you with this person. What's coming towards you? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Stability. This is what I mean. This is someone who's made some changes and they're coming in very stable. This is what's coming for the two of you is stability. So you may even be right now like, nah, I'd never take that person back. And then they're going to appear changed and you're going to be like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I do see a future with that person. We have the Ace of Cups. So that shows a renewal. Someone who's maybe had an awakening, a spirit, um, an emotional awakening is what I'm hearing with the Ace of Cups, emotional awakening about how they truly feel towards you. And if either of you had problems with self-love, which I'm sure you both did, I feel like you both have, you've both filled up your cups here and that's why Ten of Pentacles is here. Show me this person, your person, show me this person. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it feels like this is someone who is emotionally immature in the past, maybe couldn't open themselves up to commitment or love. And it's interesting because we have an emotional awakening here. We have this Knight of Cups, you know, flipping in the upright. I want to see, I want to see past energy with this person. Past energy with this person. We have cycles. That one didn't want to come up, but we have cycles, the world. So it could have been that there were patterns that kept repeating. You could be at a distance with this person. I believe I already said that. Um, there is this energy of fear of commitment with the Page of Wands. It was like there was a spark there. Maybe it was just a situation ship. We've got the Queen of Wands in reverse now. So there's that third party, you know, fear of commitment. And then they had a third party in there that doesn't have to be a person. That can be a situation. That can be a job. It's whatever is distracting them from you. Third party situation. Um, that's what we're seeing in the past here. So they could have, you know, lied to you about it. Um, you could have felt very deceived by it. Maybe that's where the distance comes in. 
Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands, so it feels like things became so heavy and burdened that someone had to put those burdens down and walk away. Let's see current energy between the two of you. We have the King of Pentacles, so it's this person wanting to come in more stable. Someone who's been... Look, I saw that when I was shuffling. Um, remember I mentioned it? The world or whatever. Um... For current energy, it feels like you're both closing out cycles here. But current energy, you have this person wanting to come towards you, King of Pentacles, wanting to stabilize this Ten of Pentacles. This could even be someone who's traveling. If you live at a distance, they could be traveling towards you to have this conversation. And then you're like, it could be shocking to you if your person has never made that type of effort, you know? Um, I'm just seeing... I just have this, it's not the normal energy that I channel when someone's coming back. It's almost like you're scared of history repeating itself or scared that this person is going to come back exactly the same. And this person is coming in very stable here. You know, I feel like they're closing out cycles here. Wanting to close the distance. Let's see near future energy. We also have five of wands, so it does seem there's a blockage here. Let's see near future energy. We have the lovers. I don't know what these cards are. I don't want to take them because they all just fell on top. Look at that. Near future energy after a break. Four of swords. After reflection, we have the lovers here. So we have this king of pentacles all grown up making you an offer here, you know, maybe wanting to take you on a trip, fireworks, celebration, you know, I do, I feel like for some of you, 7-11 on the timer, I feel like for some of you, you're going to see that this person has changed, um, I don't know what all those other cards were, I wish I had looked at them, but no, I don't, near future energy, we have a love offer, which is what we were seeing, Let's see how you're feeling about this person. That came out quick. We have the Emperor and the Two of Cups. You, you can't lie to me. You love this person. Look, Two of Cups and the Emperor. I am hearing a very strong in my head. If this person has changed, I hope this person has changed. I hope they're coming back stable, kind of like I said to the spider yesterday. Like, you can come back when you're good and stable. Um, how you feel about this person? Your emperor, your divine masculine, I'm hearing, your other half, and you still have love for this person. I do feel a lot of you are afraid, though. And like I said, I heard, if you come back right, if you come back changed, we have temperance on the bottom. And nine of cups. So you clearly feel this connection with this person. But like I said, I feel like you hope they've changed and I think they have let's see how they're feeling about you explosive much we have the wheel of fortune we have the tower in reverse so they've had a foundational shift in the way they view this this is what I mean big changes the hanged man so they feel by being away from you they have a new perspective and it's really shifted the way they look at things, the way they look at themselves, the way they look at their own stability. You know, I'm hearing foundational shift in this person. They're going to look different. They're going to sound different. Wheel of Fortune, they want to make adjustments here. They want to get back on that ride again. They're like, let me on one more time, please. Not like that. What is this person's intentions? We have the High Priestess. These cards are flying out. Oh my gosh. We have the Two of Pentacles. So there's an energy of wanting to balance this. Wanting to reveal something to you, High Priestess. Wanting to share burdens with you. Very interesting. I feel like this person as a, is... Just waiting for the right moment to come in because we've got this for their intentions. They want to rush in here. They want to come running in towards you, Knight of Swords, but look at them. They're like, I don't know. Should I? Should They're thinking about this. What move to make, you know? 
Their intentions seem to want to be to share burdens with you, to tell you the way that they've improved themselves, you know? Um, to be open and honest with you, I'm hearing. And to come towards you, balance this. Let's see their next actions. Oh my gosh, I can't make up how these cards are flying out. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So their next action is to go for it, to come towards you. 733 three could be symbolic. Um, that equals 6 and 7 equal 13, death and rebirth. And this is someone who's determined here to make this work, Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving action. You know, it's taken them time. Maybe it's still going to take them time. Maybe this won't happen for a little while. I want to get another one. We have three of cups, so wanting to share energy with you. Four of swords in reverse. Coming out of the break. Four weeks, I'm hearing. Could be four weeks. Ace of pentacles with an offer of stability. Mm-hmm. What has this person learned? That you are the shit, no. <laughs> but seriously. Seriously, you're the shit. Queen of Pentacles, that they needed to be more stable. They're coming at you, King of Pentacles. So they've realized they need to come in. That's the one on the lover's card. They've realized that they need to be more stable. They need to nurture this. Um, they've realized that, you know, they need to give more to this, that you deserve to be protected and nurtured. And look, star, they've realized, you know, that they haven't been able to let you go, that there's something very special about you, that they're connected to you in a way that they can't explain. You know, I feel like this is someone who is realizing perhaps they need to work on some wounds. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I just heard when I said that, and we have the Queen of Pentacles here, mother wounds. So this person could have had mother wounds that they were projecting from, wounds from their mother. Um, maybe they have a complicated relationship with their mother. And we have death and rebirth. So this person has been working on transforming, working on evolving. And that's what I mean. This person's coming in different. And this isn't my normal collective of like, I have so much hope for my person. I send my person peace and light and I can't wait until they come back. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that maybe you think this person was your karmic. That's what I'm hearing. And this person has been healing and transforming and they're coming in looking very different. And I, it might confuse you. You might have already closed the chapter here. I can already hear some of you in my comment section. Oh yeah, I'm not giving that person another chance. Um which is a shame because I see transformation here. Nine of Pentacles. They've been working on their stability and their confidence. 333 three, three on the timer. What advice do you need to hear about this? What advice do you need? We have the Four of Wands coming. Oh my gosh. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Holy cow. That's about, that's about healing after a breakup, like together. We have four of wands, so this is the twin flame card. Twin flames came out twice, you know? If you're someone who's in denial about the twin flame journey, I think you're about to see change and growth in this person, and you're about to become a believer, is what I'm hearing. Ace of pentacles, this person is coming in with a stable offer, like we saw in that other deck. Um, and four of wands, I feel like you both needed to stabilize yourselves before this could happen. And perhaps you healed a lot sooner and stabilized a lot sooner and then figured, oh, this must not be my counterpart. But I think it is here with the counterpart cards, the four of wands. I'm also seeing something very important here, which is this person, this is going to be different. I keep hearing it. I think that maybe two of wands represents ending patterns so that you can move forward, changing your approach when something doesn't work. So maybe just keep in mind how you're receiving this person when they come in. If you receive them just like you did in the past, you might get, you might 
you might just get the same result. But if you truly like listen, um, hear what they're saying, and maybe let down, maybe you have a perception that they can't change, I think you're going to see that they've changed. And there's something here about forward movement. After meeting this, like meeting up with this person, we have forward movement, we have reconnection, we have strength. So your bond becoming stronger. If you're someone who's in, you know, if you're someone who's confused by the counterpart journey, um, it truly is like if you feel like you can't let it go, that infinity symbol that we always see on the strength card, the eight represents a bond that cannot be created or destroyed so it's like it's the kind of connection that you'll never feel that way again you can have other connections you can fall in love with those types of things but you're never going to feel this intensity with another nor can you destroy it you know so that's why it can be so hard for people to let go of counterparts you know because you're energetically attached um anyway let's see the future of this offer future energy please yeah. interesting we have forward movement three of wands what are you we have ten of swords in reverse which is getting back together this is what i mean it's like if you can see the change in this person two of wands and you can change your approach because this could have been someone who was very mean in the past and maybe you have a boundary up like this could be someone you've learned to protect yourself from um and i do think that they're coming in very differently you're going to see them differently outcome is forward movement and reconnection getting back together the end of no contact eight of swords in reverse and that also represents you know the tra traumas that are healed so you could be you could have both healed traumas separately and then you're coming back together I believe people can change, especially when they're attached energetically to, you know, someone who they think is the empress. Let's get one more card. That one didn't want to come out. Interesting. We have the ace of swords coming out, so communication. And we have the queen of swords, so I don't know why I got one more card. But like I said, this is the energy that I was feeling the whole reading. Like I'm talking to a queen of swords that has her boundaries up or their boundaries up, you know. And unless that person has changed, they're not getting through those boundaries is what I'm hearing. Ice queen. Um, yeah, look, you probably had to put up boundaries. You've got the knight of wands here, which is what I was talking about. So what I'm seeing is this is someone who you had to put a boundary up with to enforce change. You had to stand your ground, speak your authentic truth. I see a separation, then realizations, then healing, then reconnection. But like I said, I feel like I'm channeling my queens of swords who are like, nope, my sword is up. That person was a runner. Here's my sword. And I have it ready when they come back in. Um, that doesn't mean that's what you're going to feel like when they come back in completely changed, you know, you can say, oh, I would never forgive that person. And then you get that message where they're taking accountability and they sound so different. And you're like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I could think about this. So let's see what's coming out of this deck for you today. You have go the distance. Or you're fucking good or Twin flame. I'm going to read this to you. Go the distance for... Emperor energy, seven, chariot energy. Oh, look, it's me in the reflection. <laughs> um, we have a cheetah, which is divine masculine energy, sprinting towards the finish line. And I'm just saying that you're worth changing for. I keep hearing it. I got to read you this um, book. Because this is one of the things that I was mentioning in this reading. Um... How it's kind of like twin flames are meant to, you know, kind of your old self is supposed to dissolve. 47. 47 equals 11. Twin flames. Endurance, strength, the long haul. 
So we've got this Divine Masculine coming charging at you. Look at that. The cheetah is Divine Masculine. The tiger is Divine Feminine. Um, I'm just going to read this to you because this is a card that I think about often when I do Twin Flame readings. You are calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs, remember the Wheel of Fortune energy for their action, wanting to get back on that ride again? Remember? As you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself, and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean that there will never be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love can play on. Listen with your heart. Twin flame. That's crazy. That's one of my twin flame cards. So that and the soulmate card. I'm just going to read you the soulmate card. Um, I'm actually going to read you the reversal of the soulmate card because it very much describes counterpart connections. An important relationship brings you to your knees. So when I was growing up, I was told love should be easy. And if I'm sorry, but if a connection is so easy that it doesn't force you to grow or help you to grow, then you're just remaining stagnant anyway. An important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all of your old sto stories that don't serve you well enter this dynamic so that you can heal them and you trigger each other so that you can heal those wounds. Because like I said, for... For counterparts, there's a special energy between them that's worth changing for, that's worth evolving for. Um, whereas in the past, if someone did that to you, you could just kind of be like, well, you suck. I'm never talking to you again. Like, I have an ex that sucked. And, you know, he projected all over, all over me. I was like 19. And I said, oh, you're projecting all over me. You suck. And then I never spoke to him again. But twin flames are different. Um, you know, I often say masculines can be that player, that inconsistent, hot and cold, do it to many people. And then they meet the feminine and they do it to the feminine. And they're like, the connection between them and the feminine is so strong that they then start to miss the feminine and reflect on what they did. And then they start to heal. Like that said, it's made to make you grow into your higher self. Anyway, this person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or inconceivable. Inconceivable, <laughs> Princess Bride. The question is not, why did he or she do this to me? But rather, what is the gift in this? Look in the mirror. You will be changed for the better. So. Let's get another one. What do you need to hear about this connection? What do you need to hear about this connection? We have to the sea. You didn't want to come out. Oh, I see it. Hang on. I see what happened there. The way those cards were acting. So we have seven. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than to dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires, to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So your advice is to see where it goes. You know, you've got seven. It's on page 25, which is seven. Um, and then we've got seven on, we've got 52 on the bottom. So we've got 25, 52 mirroring, signs of mirroring, twin flames, two, five, 
high priestess, hierophant energy, a connection that's a hierophant connection that really needs heightened intuition in order to, there's, there's a higher reason for it. You know, um, there's, you're intuitively being guided towards each other. 52, 52, 50, 50, 52. I'm so sad I didn't finish pile three. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments, which is what came out in your tarot. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary or if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and the person are still experiencing the hurts, the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. It's getting dark here. The sun is setting. We'll get one more. One more out of this deck. We've got Fork in the Road, 13, Death and Rebirth. So you're going to have communication. You're going to have, I told you, you're going to have a decision. You're going to have a decision. This says someone's going to communicate with you. This says you're getting signs and synchronicities from spirit about this. And that someone is reaching out to you and only good will come of this that's what this card says that this message this communication will result in good things happening and we have fork in the road 13 death and rebirth so you're coming to a pivotal like your person is coming to a pivotal point in their journey where they have to decide do i i think they already have do i work on myself so that I can make my way back to this feminine or do I just keep moving and just keep being my same old self? And I feel like they made the decision. What am I looking for? 13. Hang on. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship which will you choose to open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away? This is the time to take tr responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest and give, then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, Know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. Queen of Swords, you, you're being authentic. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of a genuine connection. All roads lead to lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. So it could have been in the past this person chose to go the other way and not come down this path. To walk away. To remain isolated and to walk away. And now they're like, wait a minute. I made the wrong decision. Let me come back. And yeah, we have communication right here, my friends. Again, usually I feel happy, but here I feel some confusion among this collective if you want this or if this person could change um just listen to your intuition your intuition will know when they come in is what i'm hearing um let's just get moon cards for you now that's what we'll do let's see i just saw believe in the impossible look at the bigger picture you know instead of just saying oh that person that person's in the past for a reason. Look at the bigger picture. Maybe you were meant to separate and learn lessons. Maybe the bigger picture is that you are counterparts and you're meant to help heal each other and to help break cycles. We started your reading off with the Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, thinking long term, looking at the bigger picture. Um, this person could be thinking long term right now. 
you know, they could have had, I'm hearing an awakening. I think that's confirmation. Yeah, there it is. Nothing is set in stone. There it is. There's that feeling that I've been picking up on. I know some of you are like, nope, never taking that person back. Nope. My person will never change. And this is saying nothing is set in stone. Energy is fluid and it's always changing. And something that you thought was over and set in stone isn't, is what this card is saying. You're very close to achieving your goal. So maybe for some of you, you do want to hear from this person. Maybe you're my little hopefuls. I didn't mean to leave you out of this reading. It's just the other energy was overpowering of, you know, I don't know if I want this. Your hard work is paying off. And it's time to release negativity. I feel like that is like for my collectives who want this. And you're like, yay, your hard work is paying off. For those of you who don't want it. It's time to release negativity. <laughs> Let's get one more. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. <laughs> Although I know this is a new moon eclipse. I don't know. Um, but conclusions are within reach. It is eclipse time. And prosperity lies ahead. And a new start is coming. Where's my happy people at? I didn't feel you in this reading. <laughs> I just feel this other collective that's like, I don't know if I want that person back. I think that's a karmic. That's what I'm hearing. I don't think so. I actually want to get you um, a love card. Because <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm going to shuffle them. the divine feminine comes out i'm going to scream because it came out again earlier we have yin and yang that's even better <gasps> love judgment renewal this person taking accountability having an awakening because that's what your love is it's worth it it's worth changing it's worth reflecting on what they need to change conversation a renewal beautiful Beautiful spiritual maturity. You guys, look, yin and yang. Coming into balance. Mm. I can feel my excited people now. You're coming into balance. You know, you could have had to balance your energies first. But this shows the meeting of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And we've got love, judgment, renewal between this yin and yang energy. You know, it's beautiful. And the choice is yours. The choice is always yours. You don't have to choose this if you don't want to. You can choose new. But I'm telling you, these twin flame connections have the ability to change people, to break cycles, to heal people, and to change the world. I'm not even lying. And we have spiritual maturity. And look at this. Emperor, Empress Energy 34. Down this, walking this mountain, you know, together. Once you've spiritually matured, that's when you come into union. And once you've both grown a bunch or enough, you join each other and walk that the rest of the road together. And then you inspire others. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yin and yang and spiritual maturity. Didn't you see that on one of your cards here, the purple cards? We did. We had spiritual maturity on one of these cards. So, I think that's lovely. That is lovely. I'm going to get one more card. I don't know why. I'm looking at this deck and I'm like, I got to get me one of those. What are you? Invite your monster to tea. Oh my gosh. Oh. And we've got bloom in the mud. You know, a connection that is messy, but something blossoms, something beautiful blossoms out of it. Lotuses, you know, you're both meant to evolve from the mud, from the darkness, from the muck. And look, we have Invite Your Monster to Tea, Empress Energy. <laughs> and I just think that's really interesting because I'm picking up on this energy that you don't want this person <laughs> or that you're, you don't think this is your twin flame. 
And I think it's interesting that it says invite your monster to tea because it's it's the energy of, you know, you having an open heart, being compassionate, empress energy, even to someone who hurts you. You can still show love and compassion to someone who hurts you. Bloom in the mud, 22, it's master number. One more. We have 44, the quest into the sub subconscious. So it could be that when this person comes in, you know, you have to really, well, is that card here? It is, or the book, it's right here. I just want to see what this is. 44, 44, 44. Oh, I have to read this. I have to read this. It's on page 104. Hierophant energy is spiritual connection that's meant to teach you lessons. Quest into the subconscious. This could be someone who made you really reflect on your childhood wounds. That's twin flames are meant to trigger each other's childhood wounds and help heal them. Listen to this. Trauma is real. It's not always what's happening on the surface that can explain our current reality or experience. Your entanglement with intense emotions and reactions may very well be triggered by something that has deep roots in the unconscious. Science calculates about 10% 10, 10 of our lives are run through conscious thought, while 90% is subconscious. So if you find yourself with persistent triggers that make you feel not enough, too much, overwhelmed, afraid, or chronically separated from your own sense of love and belonging... The question isn't what's wrong with me. The right question is what happened to me. And I feel like that's what your person has been doing. It's not what's wrong with me. It's what's happened to me. And maybe you're doing that too. Your subconscious has many of the answers to situations that plague and mystify you. Quest down into that sacred space to explore the truths waiting there. So there is truth coming, and I have to say, I've lived my entire life with childhood trauma. I almost said shitty childhood trauma, but and it affected the way I felt my entire life. I never felt good enough. It Once you start healing those wounds, your life starts changing. Twin flame connections. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because the sun is setting. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! That I missed you. I missed like the kiss. I went, nah, that's a fake kiss. Nah. <laughs>